The Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11, Therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. Now, we can think of Barnabas when we talk about encouragement. Barnabas was really known to be an encourager. In fact, that name Barnabas was actually a nickname that meant the son of encouragement. If you were to be referred to by your most visible character trait, what would that be? Kilala tayo sa pagiging ano? Kilala tayo sa ugaling ganito? Ano po? You know, it's a pretty humbling thought when we stop to reflect on how we really interact with others on a daily basis. Are we uh, fun to be with? Uh, yung personality ba natin? Yung ugali ba natin? Pleasant sa ibang tao? Uh, are we the kind of person that uh, uh, our friends uh, would like to uh, be with on a daily basis? So being an encourager is uh, something really, something really wonderful, especially uh, for a for a circle of friends. How, how do we become an encourager? Not all of us will have the gift of encouragement uh, the way Barnabas did, but we are all called. The Bible tells us that we are all called to build each other up, to encourage one another. Now, we can think of it like the gift of evangelism, like sharing the gospel or, or giving. Not all of us are especially gifted in leading uh, or in, in teaching uh, the Word of God, explaining uh, theology, explaining uh, Bible truths. But, you know, we, we are all called to share our faith. We are all called to share what we know about, about the Lord from His Word. And so not all of us are, are gifted with uh, the joy of giving way above the tithe. But we are all called to what? To tithe as a basic start in faithful giving. It's the same with encouragement. You know, for some, Encouraging others might come naturally. For others, it's more of a challenge. Either way, the Bible tells us that we are called to encourage. We are called to build each other up. So the big question is, how do we do that? How do we do that? If God expects that from me, if God wants to see me, doing this this thing of uh, giving a, a, a boost to someone who's down or helping somebody carry his burden so that he could be back on his feet. How do we do that? Let me share with you four things, practical things. Number one, touch. Touch. Sometimes a simple touch like a tap on the shoulder, even a hug, a pat on the back, is enough. That's a gesture uh, communicating the message. You can do it. You can do it. Of course, we could use words. Words. You, you compliment the good qualities that you see in a person. Let them know that you love them through words of compassion, through words of kindness. And when someone is feeling discouraged, Napansin mo, parang matamlay siya, parang mabigat yung iniisip niya, parang bibigay na. Simple words like, kaya mo yan, don't give up, or you're not alone. You know, these simple words could make a huge, really a huge difference. You could, you could also uh, write. Or send that person a letter. 
perhaps it's a simple text message or or email or uh, or a simple note saying that you're thinking of that person you are praying for that person maganda pa nga kung handwritten na sulat eh kasi handwritten letters uh, parang parang may effort doon eh parang mas may hard doon i'm not saying na text messages are are uh, have no value yes they have but uh, you know if, if you can do it if you can write something literally you know you write something using a pen and paper that could communicate love and support to someone who's down at the moment number four worship yes worship it's amazing how god uses praise and worship to lift our spirits when we're discouraged when when we're about to quit praise god praise him in the storm it could lift our spirits so we can better also encourage others so when it comes to encouragement we never know what's going on behind the scenes in someone's life. Who can you encourage this week? Think about your friends. Think about the people around you. Who can you build up? Who needs a boost? Who needs a lift? Maybe your partner, your spouse, maybe a child, a colleague, let me tell you, a simple act of encouragement can have a powerful impact for good in a person's life. Thank you for listening. The Lord be with you. God bless you.